So lung eight is about two finger widths above the wrist. So if, if I slide my hand down and catch his thumb, two finger width up here on top part of the radial nerve on that tendon. You want to strike it and stretch this tendon towards the thumb. So you take your door knocking knuckles or you can use your forearm, but as long as it's a tight one, you strike here and that shoulder will move in. So there. And that's lung eight on the top, two fingers up at the top. Now, uh, a lot of time you'll see, like especially whenever I do my blocking katas, a lot of time people just leave their hand here and they go, huh, huh, huh. But you'll see me a lot of time, I'll go like this. Because I'm imagining raking the arm off. So whenever I do it, I get outside, uh, inside to outside block, I strike and I bring that arm up. So this in kata is also a strike. You'll see this a lot in like uh, the hanchi where they'll do that. Same difference. He's here, instead of just rubbing, this is good for demonstration, but what we want to do is really martial art it and danger that bitch up a little bit. So we're going to chop while I raise this arm, it's just going to be here. So I'm chopping that as a focal point, and then eventually you can chop, catch, and come up to the head, but this is a good pinky up and then chop down. Because whenever your pinky comes up, see how his wrist kind of turns up and stretches that even more? Bam! Bam! You can follow that up a lot easier. So now since we have that focused knock on it, let's do a little bit of a forearm strike into it, okay? So give that a shot. Okay, and then I want the other one to come, and I want you to go clip. Do that one or two times for that guy punching, then the other guy punches. Go clip, clip. Okay, when you do this, I want you guys to start off slow, go slow. I want you to give that little pop. You can feel that, right? I don't want to hit Oh, I can feel it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you clip this, like this. And you can come in and go. <laughs> See that? Mm -hmm. That's what I want you to get. The next point up on the arm is large intestine 10. A lot of people will know this as the hiccup revival or a basic lung revival. But not to be confused with trip warmer or uh, large intestine 11. Trip warmer 10 is three finger widths down from the crease of the elbow. So if I curl my fingers here, it's between this muscle and that muscle, right? there. You see how the arm hits and the leg weakens. So right here is large intestine 10. Large intestine 11 is more higher up on the on the arm, almost to the crease. All right. So these are large intestine 10 and 11. Now this is a good one. I'll get this side too. So three fingers with down, right? Right here. And then 11. That's it. Close. Yeah, 10 and 11. Close. I'm going to take my pinky knuckle and strike straight in. All right? See how his arm still moves in? See how his... But I want to hit in and add a 40. So I kind of drag that muscle down because in Kishore, everything's at angles. So watch his leg whenever that happens. Feel the difference between that and that? <laughs> so... Same thing. Single point revivals. This works well with this. Pop it, massage it up into the arm. Okay? So this is really good. Also it helps sick up. So this is really good. If somebody grabs your inner arm, you can come in bam, and, and attack that really well. See how his arm has that secondary twitch too? So this is really good. It's really nice. So Large test in 10, large test in 11. Large test in 11 does the same thing. It's just a little bit higher up on the arm, and it's a little bit harder to get to. Especially if his arm's bent, that muscle's tight, but that's still wide open there. Okay? So give it a shot straight in with the pinky knuckle. Give it a shot straight in. Have him feel it. Like, yeah, you're on it, but yeah, yeah. And then kind of strike in and downward. Make your teeth.
right here. If they gotta go teeth, they'll ease the butt. Fine. So right along here on that bone, and you just like that. He's really sensitive on his head points. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want you to try that. Little crab pinchers like this. Come over here. That one's you're too close to the concrete. <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. But as you do this, you do that. But I want you to try this, and I also want you to try this. Okay? So I want you to try this. <clears throat> Yeehaw! <laughs> okay, back here, right at the base of the spot or the skull. Okay, and there's a top yeah, right there. Okay, kind of where the meat of the head. Can everybody see this? You here? Right here. There's a little pocket. I want everybody to feel that. When you do this. I use this thumb and ridge and ridge of my wrist and bone to go up into this. You can hold his head here or you can do it like this or whatever. But more likely you're in a grappling type situation so you're like this. And he's maybe grabbed you. Scoop back. I don't want to fall off the end here. I don't want to fall. <laughs> so you're here and he's maybe grabbed you. He's got you here like this. And, and you're here like this. You can pop in just like that. Okay, and that was pretty light, huh? okay, but you, you get that reaction. You can base his head here and pop here and just get a little bit of a boom. You see him, the, the dizziness? This is now, moving up, <clears throat> ding, uh, we have spleen 17, spleen 21. Spleen 17, if you find the nipple, it's one inch down, one inch over between those. Like for guys, either where the pec creases, here. You want to hit this towards the lungs. Um, you know, most karate types, you're supposed to do that corkscrew punch. This is where that corkscrew punch comes in really good. You hit and you twist. There. <coughs> and it, it will take the air out of you rather easy. This is also one of the revivals you know, for long. So, like the heart point, if it's good for healing the heart, this is going to be good for attacking the heart. If this is good for the lungs, it's going to be good for attacking the lungs, right? So, same difference. It's also real good, once again, dirty boxing. Uppercut up into it, bam! It really takes the sails out of it as well. But, one inch down, one inch over, spleen 17, hit, twist. Yep. Spleen 17 is right here, right? Spleen 21 is a little bit more towards the back. But it does the same thing. One hit, twist, towards the heart. <laughs> I'm hitting them in his back, it's like twitching. But, so spleen 17s, spleen 21s, okay? Those are some really easy ones to remember. Alright, so let's do that bladder 15. So, bladder 15 is on the back. Uh, bladder 15 is the heart revival point, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if I move his back, the corner of the scapula, halfway between the spine and that corner, is bladder 15. It's a heart revival point, all right? So, we know how to revive the heart with this by popping it. To attack this point, muscle spindle cell again, we want to strike this towards the heart. All right? I'll, I'll see if I can do this with my weak arm. But I'm going to strike this into the heart. You can hear that whole food. All right. This is really good if um, <laughs> going down. Yeah. If I have them in a chokehold and it's right here, you know, it, bam. It it really affects the heart, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it just yeah. it just messes up your internal core. We're not laughing at you. Man. We're laughing oh, with you. Now you can also hit this this way still. God damn, work on the other side. <laughs> you can still go with this the opposite way, that way, but if you hit towards the heart, it's more of a it's more of a feeling. And it, it just So it it does mess you up a little bit. Yeah man, I mean it I It's don't not you don't know how to describe that pressure. 
feeling. It, it, it's a, a, a it, shock it, wave going through. It, it really tonight. sinks your heart. You only got five minutes. I'm gonna get you good. Okay. So, <laughs> you strike this. Nine one one. <laughs> you strike this towards the heart, right there. So if I have them here and I bend him back, that's arched great. Just bam. <laughs> but see how it's not. It's just more of a. Oh, it just like weakens yeah. you and takes takes the air out of you. I want to punch in there. <laughs> All right, warm. <laughs> so this affects the heart really well. This is also a really good thing if they're in for a tackle, and this is very dangerous. But that elbow strike right there. So if I just place my elbow there and just kind of grind it, like tighten your arms up so that way you don't really fall. But if I just grind, it weakens the whole body really good. So if I go, Wah! This doesn't damage. The good thing about this, if I miss, it's still fine, separated vertebrae, whatever, but safe wise, it's right there. Alright, so good for the heart revival. So if it's good for healing the heart, it's obviously going to be good for harming the heart, right? So if he comes in for that good tackle, remember the kidney points attack the legs too, I can really get this, bam, and take the whole body out. So you want to. Strike this, but most especially where the fibers are running this way, you need to strike, bam, towards the heart in that deep penetrating action. Okay? Good day. Mm -hmm. Work with some leg points. Everybody, it seems like every guy in school does um, the dead leg, right? Yeah. It seems like every kid is like, dead leg, that's the dead leg, and you're like, arr, arr, I hate life. We're actually hitting good pressure points, okay? If he stands up at attention, the middle of his palm is gallbladder 32. No, 31. 31. I'm, taking, I'm lying. It's gallbladder 31. The tip of his middle finger is gallbladder 32. So the problem with this is everybody wants to hit into the body, okay? That hurts, and it does give that Charlie horse. But it doesn't cause that reaction because Q show is all about uh, at doing it at angles. So we want to hit this through at an angle at a 45 degree angle. Muay Thai fighters, you know, they always come in and they kick. Bam. Bam. But the thing is, they always kick straight in. You want to kick down at an angle or at an angle at a 45, right? Remember, on the outside of the leg, you always want to hit down. On the inside of the leg, you always want to hit up. So if I do both, if I, if I just hit downward, oh, it hurts and it's very effective. And that's just using the weight of my leg. It's not even a powerful kick. If I hit down plus that 45 degree angle cutting it, you'll see. Can we do this side? I don't want you to do this side. <laughs> <laughs> so at this angle and then cutting it, it'll take that leg out completely. Okay? This is really good if somebody has me in a headlock. I can take this and I can punch through. Well, I'll, I'll use my palm. Now cut through there, and it, and, it, and it weakens that leg out. Yeah. Okay. If they have a high one, or if I'm low and I grab one of these head points and lift them up, and that's there. Bam! It, it, it takes yeah. the wind out. Yeah. So it's really, really good. So knowing this, these are where those knees come in. Bam! Yeah. Knees are ten times more powerful. If I have them in that point of reference, or throwing those three knees, that's a beautiful BAM point to hit. Pop. All right. If uh, we do that new bud, that hand trapping, I come here, pop that, and he bends over, what's right there? BAM. Oh, I, yeah. take that, <laughs> I take that. I 